Hi there and welcome back. It's Tony from Touch Treasures. So I've got these lovely um, dies that uh, Crafty Ali sent me and I was thinking I would like to, I think that, that should come off. I'll just snip that with my scissors. I don't think the die is quite um, quite cut that these are beautiful um dies i'll have to ask her um what these are i love this big pocket and and this one um oh i've just popped a couple of these lovely envelopes in they're from my stash but um yeah there's a couple of envelopes i like this one as, as well yeah i think i'll have to snip snip that one so i've got those i've got some little um they're too small for what i'm doing so are they i'll do those <clears throat> another day um they're the insides of the of the slides which they make quite nice things and then i love those pockets as as well and then we've got these so i was just thinking um to make some small embellishments to um to decorate them so as you can tell i've not got a clue <laughs> what i'm doing uh today but i just wanted to fiddle fiddle about so I have sorted out some, um, I think these are all, oh no, that's a real stamp. But the majority of these are, are faux stamps, the, you know, the, the stickers. Which I would have got from Your Creative Studio or Taperology. And if you don't know, I, I do have a code uh, for them. That's a, that's a real one. So I've got some stamps out, I've got some tickets out um, and I was kind of thinking, you know, a bit like a snippet kind of thing, joining two things together. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see how we get on. I've got um, my basket of like textury uh, stuff. And I've got some green rooms, which I don't actually think I'll be using. Um, I don't know if to use the cream, because I think... Oh, mind you. That's, I'll take the green and, and the cream out, because I've not got room for these um, on my table while I'm, while I'm working. So, so let's just have... We'll just have a mess about and see see what occurs so cut it off about like that um so yeah definitely a craft with me um type type video i think i want to ink around um the stamps are, they're a little bit white for for me and i i find it a little bit off off putting um I suppose it's because it's just not the look that that I'm looking for. That's it. I'm not bothered. She says about doing the stamps, the tickets. I think these are Tim Holtz ones. So that looks looks better. So I'm thinking like that could do with something round, maybe maybe a button but i haven't got any threaded um i wonder if we want some kind of um you know stuff let's just cut some of some of this off I'm thinking of just um, stapling these, to be honest, because that netting's quite, um, you know, to stick 
stick down and the fluffy stuff's always a nightmare. That's just, um, what about if I'd have got my thingy out? And I don't want to, I want to do them so, not so they look decorative, but so they don't, you know, look like, or oh, just chucks a staple in there. I quite like that now. I don't know if it quite goes on on that one. Where's the where's the dark one? Oh, it isn't darker. I thought I'd got a, a dark green. Oh, I like it on there. Yeah, so that's the kind of thing I'm thinking. Let's um, ink this around. These pockets are great, yeah. Yeah, and then I can just glue glue that on. So that's what I'm doing, um, <laughs> really. Um, so yeah, just a just a relaxing uh, craft along. And so I was thinking about it last night, and I thought if I don't decorate them, then they don't get get used um so i thought i'll decorate them and put them in with my uh botanical things and then they will get used let's stop that bit down let's try and get that ticket down i can say that <coughs> that netting can be a bit of a nightmare to to stick oh yes it's still not stuck ah you know what i've not used for a long time those little clips to clip things down to to dry can't really get to them yeah i like that okay let's let's do another so i'll do this one this time maybe we we'll want something more let's look for the right kind of tone to go with the with the green, I did think the brown would be would be better. Same as that colour. I'm saying as that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I quite like that colour with it, and then that stamp goes nice with that. Um, let's do. Let's see what the cream looks like. Yeah, I like that. Thought I'd use this for a change instead of like a uh, cheesecloth. I'm just gonna do like fold that over. So there's two pieces. I want to make sure that you know I've caught that into the um, staple. Ooh, yeah, like that. Okay, I think I'll catch catch that. So again, I'll try and do it so it looks a bit a bit nice. But I definitely think um, a little button. Would, would look nice. I've got some little tiny mother of pearl ones, but I do like to um, thread. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, I do like to thread them. Um, so I may add a little button. I don't know why, but when I've used like a couple of oblongs, I always feel like it needs a little circle. I don't know if I've still got my half inch punch or if it Oh, no, I have. That's lovely. Oh, really simple, aren't they? I didn't think around that. Let me just think around it. And I think it, it just tones, tones it down a little bit. Yeah, lovely. So that's that one. 
um let's do these envelopes so i'm going to use these that way i do like using them that way and using that as a pocket and then you've got your pocket inside i did have um these in in my shop i'm not sure if i've still got any um left because i put the you know the last ones um in so i'm hoping that i can get something across here i probably need something tinier for those but i could use that as a as a closure but i'm not sure what i could put on it to add to it but obviously put a butterfly uh, there i haven't got any really tiny um botanicals i mean i'd i'd have thought that these was uh tiny but um obviously you know not not tiny enough i need them uh, teeny tiny now let me I've just got my little tray at the side of me. Again, I've just not got the room to, to put it on. No, that covers too much, doesn't it? Um, I've got a butterfly. Let's get a smaller one. Yep. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to ink around there just to cover my um, cutting. I wonder if I'm just going to do that in a bit of a circle and place that there. Place that there. And then put a staple, hopefully, through the... Oh, yeah, that's nice. Through the middle. And then, so I could eat... No, I'm going to have it like that. So if I stuck it right to the bottom, it might be a little bit of a pain to, to close, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. that's better so what do I want I'm just going to glue it down this side and down that side I don't even really need to glue um, the bottom so about there yep so I'll leave that out Two. Oh no need because there's only glue on each side. I love that. Let's do another one of those. So um, oh, oh that's too big. That's a little bug. It looks like the same butterfly, but it's a different, <coughs> different colour. This has got more blue. I think, where is the other one? More green. Shall we be different and do it? I don't know why. I just like things on, on that side. Um, got a bit more of this wool. I don't think I need as much as I put on um, the other one. <coughs> So it's surprising what, you know, little bits of um, decoration you can make with just a few little, few little bits. That's it. And I do like the staple through the, through the butterfly. Yeah, so I stick that there. I think I want to do that to all those envelopes because I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. I'm 
Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I could, I could be on the same page, couldn't I? Let, <clears throat> let me do some butterflies on the other side, just in, just in case um, I do use them. Um, you know, stuck, stuck them. Got a blue one. It's a bit too blue. Ooh, this one might be nice, or it might be too small. It's too small. Ooh, too small, too big. Yeah, let's do that. I'll put the wall behind here. That's already been inked, that butterfly. Okay. That's it. Lovely. Come on. I like these Tim Holtz tickets because they are nice uh, craft card um, and they're not you know it's not thick card but um yeah it's it's substantial yeah that's nice so you know I could stack them like that on a page look at that <laughs> I like them do one more and that's those that's those done so I want it on that side don't I I'm going to keep with a brown tone like I say just in case I use them together shall we go for this one maybe I want to go for a, a lighter one sorry if my voice is uh, croaky <clears throat> I don't know why it is. Mind you, um, Ryan said this morning that he felt um, f as if he'd got a cold coming. I wonder if that's why I've been so tired um, lately. Yeah. Yeah, I was off a bit with that staple, but I did well to do the other three in in the middle yeah it don't don't look as nice when when it's not in the middle okay, let's glue that down okay Put that about there lovely okay so that's the envelopes done and the little pocket pockets so we've got we've got two of two of those. Yeah. So I'm wondering about doing doing the same thing. I know that's probably really boring, but I th just think it'd look nice on there. And like I say, all I have brought out to play is is these little bits. <coughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just move these birds. No, I think I like the waterflies. <laughs> it's my favourite now. <laughs> right, I don't want the the blue ones in. In this one, that's nice. I also don't mind a touch of blue, I just don't want them blue blue. Yeah, I like that. I like it on that dark one. Let's get some more wool.
Lovely. That's that one, and then I'll put the other one on the opposite side. Let's find another. that there I've put quite a bit of wool on there on a bit a bit over the top but <laughs> but I like it okay glue that one down and that's the slotted pockets and done okay Colin's in the garden. I don't know if you can hear him barking. So that's those two. <coughs> then we've got the the little uh, cutouts. Here, I'm just going to ink around these. So these will probably be page decoration or, you know, they could be stuck on another piece of, of ephemera. So a little bit like a cluster. That's nice. I think um, Ali has a lot of the tonic uh, paper. I do like tonic paper. Um... I'm just going to pause and drink my coffee and have a think. Okay, so while I was drinking my coffee, I did that and I like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do with these four. So if I cut three pieces of this off. And... I know you can't really see. No, you can. I've got it the wrong way around. I'm going to say you can't really see the ticket. <laughs> what did I bother for? But yeah, I've got it the wrong way. Right. Staple of that. Try and get it. So all I'm using is um, the vintage botanical fussy cuts and I've printed them on vellum. There we go. So they'll be added to something, something else. Or like I say, page, page decoration. Yep. I'm saying we obviously don't have to staple. I just thought it would make for, you know, a nice, easy, quick. I'm going to put a bit more um, netting on there. So I've got some poking out of that side. Right, let's, um, <coughs> let's clear this. Down. I suppose you could even use them as like page tubs, you know, like them sticking out slightly on your page. Right, let's pop that there. 
around that there and then just press it press it down and you can still see that nice green surrounding it so that's that one okay and then the final one Just got oh, I've got those envelopes, haven't I? Those two fussy cut envelopes. I think I'll do do those next. So that's that one. Might have to just put a bit of glue just there and just on that wing just to hold it in place that's it should have inked around that okay okay all right let's make these up i might do them no I just fold that in oh aren't they lovely I think I'm going to do them that way. So, yeah. I ought to have got my art glitter out, but seeing as I've got this out. Okay, so I'm going to do it like so. it down or attach it with that and then it would be a bit of a flip I mean you know you could use those those on it and then put another layer of something uh, behind it like some cheesecloth or something um, like that but I'm gonna save save those Line that one on there, or I could go back to because I've hardly used any stamps. And the thing was, I did want to use um, the stamps because they seem to have a lot of these faux ones. Ah, so I've only got one ticket left anyway. So if I do that with that and then do that, right, what can I put? on the back just doing on my tray ah now i've got some of the some of the windows from the botanical vintage botanical architecture If I want some cheesecloth, or oh, I've got this beautiful chiffon. I was keeping this for um, <coughs> um. In fact, I might use that on the back of that one. Um, I was keeping that for journal ties. Um, 
you know, to tie, tie around. Now it needs to be something more flowy. Sure, I've got some green cheesecloth somewhere. What have we got in here? Oh, I think that's sorry. No. That's not what I was just on about. This is um, some material that I just clonked into me uh, paint water. Well, that might be quite nice. Let's cut that down. Like so. Yeah. In that room. Right. Ryan had just come up from, from the garden. And now I wasn't in the bathroom, I'm in my craft room. I don't know if you heard him or, or not. I'm never sure if you can hear background. Sometimes you seem to and sometimes you don't. Right. Just going to go very central. With that, okay. Now, why I'd got it paused, I was messing about with the botanicals, and I think I, I think I prefer that. And I seem to be into butterflies today, so I'm going to do that. Again, why didn't I get the art glitter out? I seem to have gone too far now to, <laughs> to get it out. Right. Trouble is, I'm not going right to, right to the edge because I don't want, um, you know, the gunge. Quite like it on that side, which I'm surprised. I normally like them, um, you know, on on the fla flower. I wonder if I've got a small small word. I have just ordered some more um, in the Tim Holtz little words because I do like those, um, and they lasted such a long uh, time. Right. Oh, I've got Miller and Co. Maybe that's a bit plain. Got petal. I think that be too big. I'm really liking um, the, the black words with the black labels and words with um, this kit. Of that quiet, <laughs> I like that, <clears throat> especially for today because I feel quiet. I felt quiet all week. I think because I have been lacking energy, I think um, I am quite a loud um, person, and I, you know, it does it takes energy, so I've been trying to be trying to be quiet. Probably not great for you listening. You probably I can't hear you. You're so quiet, and I'm sorry. Okay, that's that one. Like that. Um, so this one, I think something wanted uh, cutting out. I think that's probably slipped in the, um, you know, the the machine I'm always doing doing that. Um, so I think I'm gonna take that off and just bring it around and then that will make that lip lower which is actually better for getting things in so that's made it a lot 
a lot lower and because I'm using them like that it gives you a bit more room I was half thinking of doing that to to the other and then I thought oh, no I'll make a right mess but seeing as this one needed it I thought that's what I'd do I think those might be too tall for it but you can't see it so that's that one I'll do that one on that side so that'll go that way whereas the other one went the other way I bet you that bird would look nice on that colour but let's I'd got this ear marked out hadn't I with a bit of this No, not without it going awful. The only trouble is then it's hard to cut it that it doesn't, you know, look perfectly straight, but it doesn't uh, look a, a total mess. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So if I pop glue on the centre because I know that this is just going to go straight through the material just going to scrunch it up a little bit that's that going to ink around this because it's quite pale So, then what can I put behind there? I could put, I could put a floral. Okay, I need something a bit more brighter. Um, that's way too big time. Um, Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I'm just going to put some glue behind that. Okay. I didn't know if to put any fluffy wool behind it or not. It was one of them shall I shan't I? And then I didn't. I think I'll glue that, that around. So that's that one. It's a bit bland. Um, where's that? Petal's probably not right, but I could definitely do with something dark again oh I have got a few more tickets in there and a few more stamps I don't need any more stamps yeah I've got a faux button there look oh I pop that there um I'm looking for a dark Look at that one, discover. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. <coughs> I think I'm going to put some of the wool just behind that so it appears that, you know, there's threads somewhere. <laughs> threads somewhere hanging, hanging about. Hopefully that will go all the way through to the to the bottom. I don't think it has. And we'll 
I'll pop that on there. And that's that one. Okay. I think it will. I'm going to have to get those clips out again. I always used to clip things to to dry. Yeah, that's lovely. So that's that one. And then we've got this big pocket, which is that way. Oh, no. It's the same, same colour. Um, I think I'm going to decorate these off screen because we've been 40 minutes already. And I think that's long enough for, for this type of uh, video. I do need to cut that off. I'm wondering if I can just bend that up and maybe just get that bit glued down. Yeah, I'll glue that down. I think this one I will probably just like put a butt a butterfly and then a word or a label across there um, and then obviously once it's folded so that's that one and I think I'll put some of the tall uh, botanicals on these you know with, with just a, a label and maybe a butterfly okay so that is those so I hope you enjoyed that shall we just have a quick look what we made so we've got the two little um flip out envelopes we've got four little pieces of embellishments we've got the two pocket pockets two slotted pockets and then the four um envelopes so nice little little collection so yeah that's 10 pieces of, of ephemera and four four embellishments so not bad at all so thank you very much and um yeah just got a few tickets out and, and some stamps and your stapler and a bit of material some butterflies <laughs> and um you'll be well away so I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.